Take two. Take two. Hey everyone, hi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be sharing seven channels. Set that not that was eight. Seven seven channels. I'm like, Shelly, this is it. Seven or seven. Okay, I'm gonna share seven channels with you all that I think you will really enjoy. If you are new to my channel, then hi, I'm Shelly. I really love books and reading, and I'm just I'm stoked to share these beautiful channels with you. Um, if you're new, yeah, then and you're liking the vibe, I would encourage you to subscribe, stick around, and without any further rambling on, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. Did I film this once before? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I don't know what happened to the footage. I, my, my, my camera, it was acting very silly. And so we're just going to blame it on the camera and we're just going to go with take two. This is also election day. So I'm filming and uploading today because I think that we need a little bit of joy on this day. Um, it's election day here in the US and I just, we need a little joy. So if you have a channel that you love that you wanna recommend to me and everyone watching this, please, please, please put it in the comments down below. I just need a flood of recommendations. I've been loving new channels recently, new to me channels. Um, so yeah, or if you have a channel and you're like, girl, please, <laughs> you need to come over to my space, then I will, I will definitely do that. So um, also just mind the comments for excellent channel recommendations. I really only had two criteria when it came to choosing the channels I'm shouting out, one of which I need to watch them. Um, that's a given. And two, I uh, I was looking for channels under a thousand subscribers because when we hit the threshold of a thousand or more, there are about a thousand channels I could recommend to you. So I was like small-ish booktubers, booktubers that are new to this space, that's what I'm looking for. So uh, I'm gonna actually start off with the new channels. In my first version, I, I, I talked about them at the end and I was like, girl, you need to, you, the baby booktubers, you need to mention first so that everybody goes to them um, because not everybody watches to the end of this video. But hope that we're not talking about you, right? You're, you're going to watch to the very end, right? Okay. Well, okay. Just clearing that up. Okay. So two channels that are really rather new. The first one is Dylan Morris. Dylan is hilarious because uh, what really got me was in his thumbnail, he's holding his baby dog. And I was like, I love that for him. Um, his First, he shows his first dog, then he shows his second dog, and then he shows his cat. And I was like, uh, I love, I just love that. <laughs> I love furry babies. Um, and I love when they're shown in the videos and it was fantastic. And then he went on to say that, well, I, I gathered that he was a, um, well, I've been watching his channel, but then I, I, as this video was going on, I think it was this video or might have been another one. You know, when I watch a channel, sometimes I just binge a bunch of their videos and I'm like, that that was great. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Dylan showed his animals. I was immediately hooked. And then he was talking about some goals and books. And so I was like, he mentioned um, some classic fantasy in terms of classics to the genre, like The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, I think which I've always wanted to read, but have oscillated as to whether I actually want to read it or if it's just one of those books that I sort of vaguely want to read, but don't actually want to read. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So The Name of the Wind uh, mentioned some Brandon Sanderson and then also mentioned that he might DNF uh, uh, Tolkien's The Fellowship of the Rings. And I was like, what in the world? But what I love about BookTube is that we can all agree and disagree on <laughs> books and it's totally fine. But I was like, what in the world? DNFing uh, a Tolkien book, which is again, sort of sacrilege, but I know there are people out there that are like, way to go, way to go, Dylan. You you made the right choice. I, I sort of stand in the other camp and so does this next booktuber and it is Maeve, Maeve Ever Books. So what I really love is that she's so comfortable in front of the camera. Um, and it's probably because she also has a manga channel. So if you like manga, I'll also link her manga channel but she's so comfortable in front of the camera and there's just this fluidity 
um, an expertness to the way that she is sitting and talking with us, with us all. So one of the things I really loved was her there. She was doing a tag. I don't remember exactly which tag, but she was talking about who would she invite to a dinner party if she could invite anybody. And she mentioned um, a couple of Tolkien characters, a couple of Becky Cham or a Becky Chambers character, a Harry Potter character. And I was like, I love this girl already. <laughs> She also talked about Desert Island books in which she talked about the complete works of Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, and then The Hobbit. She was like, I know most of people, most of, most people would choose The Lord of the Rings, but I'm just a Hobbit, Hobbit girly. It's a comfort read for me. And I don't know. I really like that. I liked how articulate and to the point she was and sure of herself that she was going to be only taking The Hobbit rather than the entire oeuvre of Tolkien books, you know? So I, I just really enjoyed the vibe, you know? And that's what I'm all about. So go check out Dylan and Maeve, who I actually think are friends on booktube in the booktube space. They're, I think they're doing a buddy read together. Anyhow, I just, I like that. I like that. Um, okay, next up is going to be Shannon. Um, her channel name is going, is, is a truth universally acknowledged from the very famous Jane Austen's, the first line in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, which already got me turned on to her channel. I was like, hmm, girl, I love that. And then she went on to, I, she recently put up some nonfiction favorites and some of her nonfiction favorites are some of my nonfiction favorites. So she talked about Trevor Noah's Born a Crime, which is an incredible celebrity memoir. I don't keep up with pop culture. I don't know who Trevor Noah is. If I saw Trevor Noah walking down the street, I would probably stop him and say, do you know who you look like? You look like someone I think named Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I don't really know who he is. But his memoir is incredible about talking about his harrowing upbringing in South Africa. Fantastic. Um, she also talked about her love for Alison Weir and her, um, she really loved Isabel Wilkerson. I just recently read Wilkerson's cast. So it's so funny when you meet a booktuber, when I start watching a booktuber who has a, quite a bit of overlap, not only with books that they've, they have been enjoying, um, but also recent reads. So recently, uh, Shannon had read The Mill on the Floss and had some really insightful things to say about it. And I'm currently reading The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. And so it's just really fun to have a bit of that overlap of a feeling that we're having a similar conversation in the booktube space. Shannon's great. Go follow her. Then uh, I also have Ellen of Ellen Made Book Club. She runs a book club cha type channel. So she's always uh, reading books with the community, which is a really wonderful feeling. And what's great about Ellen is that she's Swedish. And so I had watched an old video of hers talking about books that she read in childhood. And she was naming all of these Swedish authors that I didn't know about. And that's always wonderful to be exposed to authors that I had no idea about. And Shannon was definitely, I'm not Shannon, but Ellen was definitely able to to do that for me, to bring up uh, authors and books that I had never heard of. And recently she has a couple of videos diving into the topic of neurodivergence. So authors who have read, who have, who are neurodivergent and read, written about the topic, but also just about the topic in general. And she had a lot of wonderful recommendations, but also books that she wants to read. And I found those really fascinating because she, I felt like she did such a great deep dive into the topic. So there is Ellen. And then, then we have uh, Sarah's reading journal. So Sarah, I, I went back and I watched her booktube newbie tag and I thought she said something really uh, something that I feel like we all say in our booktube newbie tag, but hearing it again, I was brought back to the moment when I started my channel. And she said that she doesn't have very many readers in her life. Um, it was full stop. Um, and those readers who are in her life don't read the same as her. And so then I went on to kind of go and watch uh, some, what does she read? You know, that's my next question. She reads a bunch of stuff. She reads a bunch of incredible things. She is reading um, Olga Turkutchev. <laughs> she has, uh, she recently reviewed uh, the third book that she's read from that author, an author that I've been meaning to read for years. So she's reading translated literature and she has a bunch of translated literature recommendations. Um, she has, she, she did like a fall reading recommendations and she named a bunch of books that I loved. Uh, including The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, but she's also just reading quite widely and quite varied. So she has translated literature classics, new releases, literary fiction, 
And all of it is th that she's talking about with a, a wonderful sense of thoughtfulness. She also has this a beautiful Scottish accent that is so easy to listen to. So between the beautiful Scottish accent and the thoughtful reviews, I really, really appreciate and enjoy her channel. Okay, now we're gonna talk to talk about kind of the um, someone who has wonderful energy, and I love the energy of his channel, and that is Jackson Tally. So Jackson, I mentioned him a few like a while, a little bit back, but I wanted to mention him again because he has a rather new channel, and I am loving his channel. Um, he is living in New York. He's got he's got snarkiness and snazziness. I mean, he's snarky and wonderful, and he's not afraid to just be like that. Book was so boring. Like he goes in on hard hard on books. So if you are a fan of Gemma Gem of Books, if you love her channel, if you love like the <laughs> like the um I don't want to say the uh, itchy energy, but with a B. <laughs> <laughs> but like in the best way, I don't cuss on my channel, okay? But like, if you like that, like that sort of, um, you know, like I, give me my time back because I read a bad book and you wasted my time kind of energy, Jackson will give you that. And I also love that Jackson has actually read a lot of books that I have read, but a lot of books that I have not read. So there is a good mix of books that I'm very familiar with that I know and have opinions about, but also he's introducing me to new literature that I've never heard of. He also has a love for uh, Pulitzer, the Pulitzer Prize, which I do too. So um, anyways, Jackson's wonderful. Love him so much go follow him go comment on his channel as all these channels go and comment say it don't you can say that I sent you or don't say that I sent you I don't care just go and follow them that's the most important thing and watch their videos and comment on their channel please and thank you and the last one is actually Carla from the channel Carla likes to read now Carla is wonderful she and I have a love for like weird and grody books <laughs> which is kind of a weird thing to have in common, but it is. Um, she was talking about Lindsay Fitzharris, um, and I have read a Lindsay Fitzharris book. Lindsay Fitzharris wrote The Butchering Art, which is about when Victorians were coming to the point where they're making advancements in surgery and in antibiotics and in health and things like that. My kids are yelling for me. They're fine, I promise you. And I had read Lindsay Fitzharris's The Face Maker, which is about the advancements of facial reconstruction surgery during World War One. And we both like the same thing. We like that sort of icky, grimy, mucky, gross, uh, advancements in humanity. Um, we also both read The Glutton and Loved It by A.K. Blakemore, which is a weird book and has weirdness in it. And then Carla recently reviewed Eileen by Otes Otessa Moshveg. And I bought Eileen by Otessa Moshveg. And what I like about Carla is that she has a very she can see things from multiple perspectives. So she was doing a review on Eileen and she was saying most people don't like it because it's gross and weird and grody. But that's actually why I quite liked it because it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. And really just being able to have that balance while talking about a book is something I really appreciate and that Carla does all the time on her channel. And so I am always excited when a new video pops up and when I'm able to watch it and just, she's just great. So go follow all of these channels go and enjoy and leave your channel recommendations down below. I better go make sure that my children are fine. So let me go. And just thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Bye.